Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It, your home for relatable, wearable, and affordable fashion. I'm Alicia, and today's video is one of my favorites of the year. I love fall, and I love to add fall touches to my home. I'm gonna be sharing my ideas on how you can add some fall warmth and a fall vibe to your home with not a lot of money, and also without like doing it up. Like, you don't have to go all extra. So I'm gonna be sharing what I did. I have a little haul for you guys, and then I'm gonna walk you through all my little decorative fall accents. So if you're ready to decorate for fall, get your hot cocoa, get your tea, sit down, relax, and let's go ahead and decorate for fall. Okay, so we're gonna get right into the haul portion of this video, and I'm gonna kinda do it by category. I'm gonna start with the general decor items, starting off with these adorable rustic yarn pumpkins. As you can see, there's four ivory ones and four rust orange ones. These are so cute. They have like a little rustic string to them. So adorable. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with those, but you'll see later in the video. I also picked up these pumpkins because I couldn't decide between the two, but these are so cute as well. They're all ivory and they're also on like a yarn string. So, so cute. Ah, adorable. I love stuff like that. It's kind of muted, but you know, it is definitely pumpkins, but I thought they were just so, so cute. I had to get them. And those are both from tjmax.com. I also picked up some leaf arrangements. The first one being this one. This is from TJ Maxx in store. It was $12.99, and this will go in an item you're gonna see later. I also picked up two leaf arrangements from Amazon. These were $17.99. I think these look less realistic than the ones from TJ Maxx, but I'm probably still going to use them just to add some more warmth and orange touches around this place. I also picked up this really cute tabletop birch tree. This is like a pre-lit tree, it's battery operated. This is from Amazon. You'll see it later styled up with my little coffee station in the kitchen. I also picked up this cute sand and fog candle set. So it comes with these two cute candle holders and then it comes with the stick candles to sit inside of them. Not exactly sure where this is gonna go either, but you will see later in the video. I also picked up this beautiful silhouette vest, silhouette, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Silhouette Vase <laughs> from TJ Maxx. This was about $14.99. As you can see, it's a woman's shape, and I'm gonna use this with one of these um, leaf arrangements to put inside. Like I said, I just really wanna add some pops of warmth all over the place, so. And I love these types of vases. Such a good find at TJ Maxx. I also picked up this really beautiful garland from Amazon.com. This is a pre-lit garland. It has lights in it and it has a bunch of different foliage, acorns, things like that, some berries. It's so, so pretty and I can't wait to lay this out. This is actually going to go on my TV console so it's gonna look really pretty up there because this year I just really, really want to add that fall warmth. Like, I really want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> so, the next thing that I picked up is going to be this flameless candle set from Amazon. Oh, there went the little plastic. I took one of them out the plastic, but these are the like smoke gray or blackish ones, but the light inside is warm. So, so beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys what I have planned for those. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to set them up. I also picked up some beautiful pillows from TJ Maxx in store. So the first are gonna be these embroidered pillows. The orange or the rust color on them is kind of muted, which I love because these are actually gonna go on my chairs back there. They're gonna replace the pillows that you see. So I thought these were so, so cute. Definitely my taste when it comes to fall decor. So yeah, super happy to pop those up. I got two of them. This is the other one. So adorable, you guys. And I also found this really cute pillow. It just says, Hello Pumpkin. So I'm gonna put this in the basket that I store all of my blankets on, which is right behind you guys right now. So this is gonna get popped right there for a nice little pop of orange in that little corner. I also picked up quite a few candles. Um, I do have a very sufficient candle collection, but I'm always looking to add more. And I definitely want to add some candles that have like scents, you know, that are fall associated. So I picked up these stick candles because I love the way stick candles look when they burn. They are so beautiful. I'm probably going to put those on the counter at my kitchen and just watch them burn. 
I love these kind of candles. These are by Sand and Fog. Um, these are unscented, which is fine because I'm gonna have so many scents going on up in here. <laughs> I also picked up this little candle from TJ Maxx. It says pumpkin season is the scent. And uh, yeah, super, super cute. I needed this orange candle because you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with that later. I also picked up this, which is pumpkin creme brulee. And both of these are by DW Home and both are from TJ Maxx. Such a beautiful candle. And I know it's gonna make this place smell very fall-like. The next few items I wanna share are some items that I picked up for the kitchen. So I have quite a few items for the kitchen because I really want my kitchen to have that fall feel. The first thing I have is this really cute mat. This is gonna go in front of my sink and as you can see, it's orange and black. It's very orange and black, but I think it'll look super nice in my kitchen. I have a lot of black accents in my kitchen and my kitchen is mostly gray, black, and tan. So I think this rug will add a nice little fall pop in there. I also picked up this large basket. I have all of my coffee stuff in a basket in my kitchen, but I need one that's a little bit bigger. I've been wanting one that's a little bigger. So I found this at Ross, it was only $9.99. Look how big this basket is for $9.99. But this is gonna actually replace the basket that I have at my coffee station right now, because like I said, I wanna add more stuff over there. I also picked up these coffee mugs. These are large coffee mugs from Amazon. These are orange, so I'm gonna use these to replace the coffee mugs that are on my coffee stand right now, just for the season. I think they'll look really cute and add a nice little pop of orange over there. I also picked up a few other things for my coffee station. I picked up some syrups, this chocolate syrup, this vanilla syrup, and this caramel syrup. So the caramel and vanilla are by Girardelli and the chocolate is uh, Starbucks chocolate syrup. I love adding those to my hot chocolates. It just, I love a good sweet cup of hot chocolate, just a, a pile of whipped cream, like that is my vibe, okay? I also picked up some tea, this pumpkin spice warm up the day tea from TJ Maxx. I also picked up some additional Manuka honey because I'm almost out, so I picked that up and I love the color scheme on these two containers. <laughs> but the tea is actually going to go inside of something else that I got, which are these little um, jars here. So I picked these up from TJ Maxx. This one was $9.99 as you can see it's in like an orange color. So cute and I also picked up this off-white one here and this also came from TJ Maxx. This one was $7.99. So cute. Little pumpkin shaped containers and yeah these are going to be perfect for my little coffee station. <laughs> I also picked up some throwaway cups. I always like to keep these at my coffee station because a lot of times I'll get up and make coffee and tea in the mornings and then I'll take it to go to work. So I love to have like disposable cups. So I picked up two sets of those from TJ Maxx. The first one is gonna be this one that says, leaves are falling, autumn is calling. So cute. And then I also picked up these with the orange pumpkin print on them. So cute. So these are gonna go at my coffee station as well. Also picked up some pumpkin scented soap. This was from Ross and it was only $3.99, nice big bottle. And I picked up a few things from the Target Dollar Spot. Found some really good items there. The first is gonna be these two sets of kitchen towels. I love to have these around to dry my hands because I am an abuser of paper towels. So I'm gonna throw these in the washer to soften them up and then I'm gonna hang them in the kitchen. But you guys will see what I do with them before I do all of that. But yeah, really, really cute little sets of towels from the Target Dollar Spot. This one has like pumpkin prints on it and then you have one with the grid lines. And then this one says Happy Halloween and then it has the little gingham one attached to it. So four kitchen towels and they were $5 each. Great deal, in my opinion, for the Target Dollar Spot. I also found this really cute tray on the Target Dollar Spot for $5. This is something cute that you can add something to your bathroom or, you know, if you wanna just put like some fall stuff on the counter in the bathroom or in your hallway or something, you can just put it on here. I'm all for having only enough fall decor that can fit in like a container. Like, I don't like to go beyond that. I'll vacuum the pillows, like put those in a vacuum bag and put all of this stuff in one container and just mark it fall. Like, I don't like to have such an excessive amount of stuff that it's gonna be taking up a bunch of space. So that is my deal. All of this stuff can fit in one container. So once I remove it and decorate for Christmas, 
I put it all in one big container, put it in my storage locker, and I'm good. I also found these really cute glasses from the Target Dollar Spot. So these were $5 each as well. And I think these are perfect for me to make my little fall cocktails in and stuff. I don't have any glasses that are this shape and size. So I thought they were so cute. And for five bucks, I think that's a pretty darn good deal. But that is everything that I have for like decorating. I do have some fall books that I wanna share with you guys though. Now before I get into the books, I gotta say like, I am the kind of person who likes to read books and magazines that are associated with the season that I'm in. So I don't know what it is about that. I just love to read so much. So when like fall rolls around, I love to read like scary books, horror books and stuff like that. I actually have a book order coming in. Um, Amazon should be sending that today. It should be arriving today, but I'm not sure if it's gonna make it into this video. If it does, I will definitely add a clip and show you guys those books in a separate clip. I'm hoping that they get delivered today before I send this video to my editor, but I don't know y'all. But I do have a few to show you. So the first is gonna be this classic Campfire Stories uh, 40 Spooky Tales by William Forgey. This is a great book to take like camping or to a bonfire at the beach or something like that and you can read out the stories to everybody. It has a bunch of horror stories in it and I like this book. I already started reading a couple and I'm like, yeah, when I go camping, my best friend is an avid camper. She invites me all the time and I tell her no all the time. Now, just like, <laughs> sometimes I try to make it out there but I'm gonna try to make it out there this fall with her at least to, you know, one of her little adventures and I'll take that with me and read some stories to the kids. I used to be an actual reader at the library here where I live. I used to volunteer to read to children. So, your girl's a pretty good reader, okay? Don't forget, I pursued acting for a while. <laughs> anyway, I also have this Taste of Home soups, stews, and more. I love getting new soup and stew recipes for the fall and I love cookbooks. I'm the kind of person who can sit and read a cookbook and this one has such good photos and stuff in it. So I, I love books like this. Like I'll sit on the couch and just read through these recipes all day. That's just the kind of person I am. I also picked up this Fix It and Forget It Best of All Recipes book. So this one also has a lot of soups and you know baking and stuff like that. Ideas of stuff I can make. I love to get new ideas. So having books like this like laying on my counter in my kitchen and stuff like that I really definitely flip through them. I also picked up this Taste of Home Boards, Platters and More. Um, this is such a good picturesque book as well. So if you are having you know events at your home for the fall this is great for like creating different types of boards like you know I had a board party so y'all know what boards are right it's like charcuterie boards and things like that but you really can do them with just about anything and this book has so many pictures and ideas so if you're going to be doing some entertaining this is a good book I also picked up some fall magazines because like I said I love to just sit and flip through them when that season hits so I have this Southern Living Special Collectors Edition Best of Fall Recipes magazine it's beautiful too this magazine is so so pretty it has like a apple pie on the front so cute definitely will be sitting that out so people can flip through it when they come over and then I picked up this Better Homes and Garden Fall Recipes 80 Warm and Cozy Dishes so these are collector's edition magazines I will link all of these books and magazines for you all and when the other fall books that I ordered arrive I'll link those for you as well because you know I know I got some readers in my audience I know some of y'all are like me I've been getting heavy into books lately and I've been getting out of like reading books you know on Kindle I actually like to feel the book in my hand lately so <laughs> that's new for me because usually I don't really care but yeah those are the books and magazines so now that I've done my little haul guess what it's time for it's time to decorate this place so I'm gonna be moving y'all around and showing you everything that I'm doing and how I'm using all of this stuff you just saw Okay, so I decided to start you all off by redecorating the kitchen. I'm gonna be adding my fall touches because the kitchen seems to have more items than pretty much anywhere else in my place. So I'm gonna be putting some things over here in my coffee station, replacing some of my coffee mugs. I'm also gonna be redecorating my table a little bit. So let's go ahead and get into the kitchen because it's really gonna look so cute in here. Let's start it off.
Okay, so you all just saw me decorate my kitchen table as well as my little coffee station over there. And then I went ahead and put some of the flameless candles into my cabinet here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate my countertop. I basically want everything to be in a basket so that I can move it when I need to, just pick it up, put it on the other side of the kitchen if I need to. So that's a lot easier for me. So I'm gonna remove this plant and I'm gonna put my basket over here and then I'll decorate it with you guys. So let's do that real quick. Okay, you all, so now we're ready to go ahead and decorate my little TV console area. And that's gonna be pretty simple because I have this garland that has the faux foliage, it has lights, has little berries, and it has pine cones on it. So this is pretty much enough to kind of decorate this area. I might hang one of the little um, pumpkin garlands up here as well, but for now, I think I'm just gonna put this up. And I do have some little clear hooks on here, those little mini, mini command hooks on here that I use to hang my Christmas stockings every year on this thing. So those should work to hang this garland. We're gonna go ahead and try it out. So hopefully this works. Okay, so I did kind of have to play around with it since I only have four of those hooks on here, but it worked out. So now I'm just gonna add a few other little things. I want these candles up here, so I'm gonna add those. And those are the little stick candles that I got from TJ Maxx. I'm just gonna add two of those there. And you guys, I'm thinking about playing around with the garland. Let me grab it and let's see how that looks. Okay, you all, so this is what we are working with as far as the TV console goes. And I am probably going to purchase another small vase to put up here because I feel like it just needs something else. So I'll start the hunt for one. But for now, this is what we're working with. I did put the garland up here, but because this arrangement is so elegant, it just didn't go. The garland is just a little bit too rustic to go up here with this. It would have to go by itself. So I'll figure out something else to do with the little garland that I have. But I'm gonna go ahead and put my little fall magazines up here on top of my cable box. So anybody that comes over can go ahead and check those out. But yeah, this is what we're looking with. I will be inserting a nice pan of everything before I wrap up the video for you all. Maybe to some nice little music. So don't worry, everything will be shown up close. But yeah, this is what we're working with. And if you're interested, like I said, in any of the um, battery operated candles, like these warm ones that I have in my cabinet, I'll link those as well. And anything that I can link that is older or that you know I might've purchased a while ago, if it's still available, I'll link it as well. Um, one thing I do want to see is how those little pumpkins look up here. And then I have one more little table to decorate in here and then throw up my pillows. And we're pretty much gonna be done. So yeah, I'm liking the way it's turning out. Okay, you all, I'm pretty much done with everything that I wanted to do in my home as far as adding my little fall touches. And one thing I want to emphasize is that you don't need a lot of stuff to bring a fall touch to your place. And you certainly don't need to own a house to do it. If you live in an apartment, 
you can take just as much pride in decorating for the holidays as anybody else so I just wanted to say that before I start to show you guys the actual things that I did add so starting off with my little coffee station you guys saw me do that I added these cute little cups and my little canisters that are pumpkins I think those are so cute I also added my orange coffee mugs to add a little bit of color to this area and that's pretty much all I did over here then I moved on to decorate my kitchen table with a cute little centerpiece with these little pumpkins a candle and my little leaf arrangement from Target and I will link that for you guys I also added some warm lighting to my cabinet in my kitchen and sorry if the light is kind of making it difficult to see I tried to do this in low lighting but it's still kind of hard to get the full effect for you guys and also it's hard not to get myself in my reflection so uh hey y'all <laughs> anyway i think it looks so cute inside of the cabinet and yeah i love the way that turned out i added my little kitchen towels and of course my kitchen rug i think it definitely brings a nice little halloween pop to my apartment so i really like that um i put one of the kitchen towels on my stove there so that's the one that says happy halloween so i'll leave that up until halloween and then i will take it down as far as my counter goes you guys saw me me do the little basket here so added some little knickknacks I also went ahead and added one of those um, pumpkins with the single standing candle to that so I think it looks really cute like this as well and then of course my fall recipe books are in there and I like the way that turned out I think it looks so so cute I would love to decorate my coffee table for you guys but honestly my coffee table stays in this corner over here <laughs> so it really is no point in me decorating it because I move it out the way every time I film I'm actually going to be replacing it with a nice decorative trunk because I don't use it at all so if I had a coffee table I would decorate a coffee table for you guys but I don't use my coffee table and I'm about to sell it so <laughs> but yeah that's my countertop now moving on to the tv console I added some friends <laughs> Anyway, since Halloween is going to approach before like Thanksgiving, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and pop up my little skeletons. I've had those for years, you guys, like literally for years. They're so fun. But yeah, I thought they would be cute to sit on my little TV console. And of course, you all saw me add the garland from Amazon and these candles from TJ Maxx. You want to make sure those are away from your TV, a good distance away. But yeah, they look so cute up there and it just really makes it feel so cozy in here. Of course, I added my fall magazines up there so people can look at those and I can look at those and then like I said I will link those candles for you all those candles really add a nice warmth to my cabinet so wanted to share those as well but yeah that's pretty much what I've done um, I did add the pillows to my little chairs here so you guys saw me do that they look so nice they're very muted not too much of a statement so I can definitely film and do my Instagram reels with those on there so really really cute pillows and then I also changed this little side table here so I added those two pumpkins one of those is a candle holder you saw that and then I put a little white pumpkin on top and then of course my vase that looks so nice oh my goodness she looks so stunning over there y'all I love the way this little corner looks so this is my little reading corner my little reading nook I sit here and then I'll usually have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and I'll read so yeah I didn't change much on my sofa because honestly I don't think I need to change everything you don't need to like do every single part of your home to add a fall touch you can just add small little things so I didn't add anything to my little bench in the corner and I didn't really change out the pillows on my sofa either and that's my cell phone sitting here <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much all I did to the room. I wanted to just talk you guys through everything. This video may have been a little chaotic, but hopefully I did a good job of showing you my fall touches. And yeah, I'm excited about fall. I'm excited about the holidays. And I can't wait to bring you guys my Christmas decor video because you know Alicia goes all out for Christmas. 
Thank you all so much for checking out this video all about my fall home decor. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it relaxing but also inspiring. I will link everything that is a linkable that I shared in this video in the description. So if you want to get any of the items that I picked up to decorate with, I will link them. And if they're not available or low in stock, I'll link similar options for you all. But like I said earlier when I was walking around showing y'all stuff, you don't need a whole whole lot of stuff. To decorate for fall i like to keep it to one container so everything that i showed you guys today will actually fit in one container of course the coffee bar stuff like the cups and stuff those are not going to need to go into a container because i'm going to use them up but all the other stuff will fit in one container like i'm talking about like a rectangular container and i just write fall on it and that's it so you don't need like a whole whole bunch of stuff and you don't have to do every inch of your place either so if you only want to do a couple of pillows and maybe a couple of vases you can keep it to that if you want to just add only candles you can do those in fall colors like you don't have to go all out it really is up to your personal taste I personally really really love fall but you know I'm not gonna go crazy with it but I do love to add some accents so that I have those visuals to look at and really give me that fall vibe in my home so I hope this video was inspiring I hope you enjoyed it I know you're gonna see a ton of these popping up on YouTube but hopefully mine is the best and no, I'm just <laughs> I'm just joking, but I hope you guys just enjoyed it. And if you're interested in what I have on my TV, all you gotta do is go to Netflix and type in Fireplace. It has tons of different episodes. You can use this app with music. You can do it just with the crackling noises. There's like different episodes. So this is on Netflix, y'all. A lot of people have asked about that. It's on Netflix if you have Netflix on your TV. So yeah, just wanted to share that. But I'll go ahead and wrap up the video. Make sure you subscribe if you are not subscribed. My fall content, it's lit girlfriend you will not want to miss it and i just keep it popping all year long i think you know i think you'll definitely enjoy joining my family here so hit that subscribe button to all my regulars i hope you enjoyed the video happy fall y'all i'll see you all on the next one bye y'all